TBD here and in this video I'm going to be discussing the international transfer of minors. You may have heard in the media at one point or another that FIFA had sanctioned a club for not following the rules that are laid out in the FIFA regulations on the international transfer of minors. However, by the end of this video, I hope that you'll understand why some of those sanctions were dished out and what the clubs should have done in order to avoid those sanctions. So I guess the first logical question is, who is a minor? A minor is a person under a certain age, the age that separates childhood from adulthood. Anybody under that age is classed as a child or a minor, and anybody above that age is an adult. What that age is depends on the jurisdiction, but majority of jurisdictions, it is 18. So then the second question is, who does FIFA class to be a minor? In accordance with FIFA regulations on the status and transfer of players, a minor is a player who has not yet reached the age of 18. So you may be asking why FIFA doesn't allow the international transfer of minors. Well, your guess is actually as good as mine. However, I guess just like with other jurisdiction, there is a common belief that minors aren't in a position to make rational decisions. They're extremely vulnerable and they need protecting. And I can hear some of you going, I know 16 and 17 year olds that can hold their own. I know 16 and 17 year olds are extremely mature. And yes, that is correct, but I guess the line has to be drawn somewhere. And with FIFA, that line is 18. Now we move on to the interesting bit. According to Article 19 of the FIFA regulations on the status and transfer of players, international transfers are not permitted for players under the age of 18. However, there are five exceptions. We are going to go through those exceptions one after the other. So the first exception is where the player's parents are moving to the country where the new club is located and it's not for footballing reasons. So let's say we have an Egyptian player whose parents, maybe his mom has been offered a new job in Saudi Arabia. The whole family are planning on moving to Saudi Arabia. When the player gets to Saudi Arabia, he will be allowed to register with a club in Saudi Arabia. For exception two to apply, the player would need to be between the ages of 16 and 18, and either the transfer is taking place within the European Union or the European Economic Area, or the two associations are within the same country. So for instance, you have a player in England who would like to register for a club in Scotland, that would be allowed because the two associations are within the same country. However, for exception two to apply, there are some minimum obligations that the new club must fulfill. So obligation number one is that the new club shall provide the football player with an adequate football education, which is in line with the highest national standards. Obligation number two is that the new club shall guarantee the player another form of education. So this is in addition to his football education and can be academic or it can be vocational, but it's almost like a plan B, something that the player can fall back on in case he ceases to play football. Obligation number three is that the club needs to make every necessary arrangement to ensure that the player is looked after extremely well. Optimum living standards, including being provided with uh, either club accommodation or a host family and also provided with a mentor or somebody who can look after him and guide him. So for a club to comply with obligation four, on registering of a player who is a minor, they need to contact their affiliated football association and let them know that they are complying with the obligations one, two and three. I think this is a really important obligation because at the end of the day, they can be written in the regulations and nobody will actually comply. But the fact that they need to contact their affiliated association and let them know they are complying is accountability. Exception three is that the player lives no further away than 50 kilometers from the border and the club he would like to play for in the neighboring country is also no more than 50 kilometers away from the border. So let's say for instance, there's a player in Togo who would like to go and play for a club in Ghana. His house where he lives in Togo cannot be more than 50 kilometers, which is about 31 miles away from the Ghana Togolese border. And the club that he would like to play for can also not be more than 50 kilometers away from the Ghana Togolese border. All in all, the distance between the club headquarters and where the, the player lives cannot be more than 100 kilometers. 
Exception four is where the player is fleeing his country of origin without his parents for humanitarian reasons, specifically in relation to his life or his freedom being threatened on account of being part of a particular social group, his religion, his race, political opinion or his nationality. Now, when he gets to the new country and he's granted temporary asylum or temporary residence, he's therefore allowed to register for a club in that new country. So last but not the least, exception five is where the player is a student and he leaves his home country without his parents temporarily for academic reasons in order to undertake an exchange program. The duration of the registration with the new club until he turns 18 or until the end of his program cannot exceed one season. Further, he is also unable to play for any club that is not a purely amateur club. So as we've come to the end of the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something and I hope you now understand why some of the clubs that were sanctioned were sanctioned because they didn't follow the rules and regulations and take into consideration the exceptions. Please remember that this is just a general overview with guidelines. And if you'd like to carry out the international transfer of minors, please contact your football association and ask them for guidance because a lot of these transfers will still need approval from the player status committee of FIFA. Don't go and carry a player from one country to another and say that you watch TBD's video and she said that if the club headquarters and the player's home are 100 kilometers apart, that it's okay. No, no, no. Please make sure that you contact your football association and make sure that they have a look through all your documentation and make sure that everything is above board to avoid sanctions. So I really hope the eight, nine minutes that you've spent watching this video that you found it worthwhile. Now, I try and keep the videos short. However, sometimes it's very difficult to do so because I'm always scared that if I leave something out, then it would kind of take away from the overall context of, of the message I'm trying to deliver. However, please remember that if you have any questions, you can always contact me via email. You can also connect with me on social media. You can drop comments in the box below, but most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.